Hello beautiful people, my name's Neoni362 and welcome back to the first time I actually started my timer. Yes, I know how long it's going to be without making these stupid 10 minute long interviews or something. Anyway, welcome back to Miles After Earth Investigations. In the last episode we met, I don't even remember his name anymore, Wilkins or something? Why can't I move? Okay, that's why I can't move. Okay, so uh, what's your name again? Meekins, we met Meekins, who apparently was the Blue Badger and didn't see absolutely nothing. And in this episode, I still have no idea where to go. Please tell me it's not going to be another one of those uh, times when I like when we we're in the freaking basement and I had no idea what I was doing, so I just walked around for the last five hours. Sorry. Can I present actually anything to you? Uh, try this thing. Sir, I'm undercover. I must pretend not to know anything about anything. I'm actually pretty sure you don't know anything about anything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Shooting fish in a barrel. I don't get it. Hmm. How about this? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more thing and then... Uh... Oh, never mind. It's so incredibly shiny, but it has a really ugly... Hey! It has the freaking sun on it! I was right to go for the punch more manly. No, it's not. It loses a line. Just knowing it'll lose it for a real one of these days. That's not a good thing. And by the way, where's my badge for my college? Mr. Edgeworth, I think this cop is one donut Trevor Baker's dozen. I know, believe me, I know. Okay, I'll try one more thing. Sir, you have a copy of the Blue ba Badger Bibles too, sir? That was written by experts on the Badger. F there are experts on these th this field. It's like, can I actually, like, freaking uh, major in this type of Blue Badger nonsense? It doesn't matter that I was made the Blue Badger only a little while ago, sir. That book helped me memorize every name of every Badger. So, aren't there only four? It's not that hard to remember four incredibly obvious names. Oh, that works, too. Alright, I'll try this one last thing. Drip, drop, little by little, our privacy is being sold off to the public through this, sir. But that means I need to work extra hard on my cute poses. Ooh, like what? That's not cute pose. That's not that's not cute or I don't even know. Great, now I know what your new pose will be. I don't think that's a good thing. Look, sir, I've successfully stolen this pose and speaking style, sir. Don't please. That's nice, K. Okay, so you tell me absolutely nothing. So what am I supposed to do here? Uh can't talk to you guys? Oh. Just let me through. Can't let anyone through. Agent Lang's orders. I have to deal with this in past for now. So I, we can't move anywhere. So what about you? What do you have to say? Are you done? I don't understand. They give me three, but normally it takes about four to finally do something. Uh, I like how K runs. It's kind of cute. Hmm. What this? Horses, painted garage door to complete the Wild West theme. They look so lifelike, don't you think? Why don't you pet one of them? Oh, that works too. You can coax them out there. Sure, come on. I know you can sweet talk them out. I could be holding a cube of sugar in my hand and they wouldn't budge me. Oh, I wonder why. Wow, I'm not into it at all today. Excuse me. Can I get inside the saloon? Did that work? Actually, did... Oh, whoa, that's cool. Yeah, what I was thinking is there. this was the pipe we used, so... Yep, it was just a passing rain. That's why the ground has already pretty much dried up. Should be thankful. It left us with some nice footprint samples. Ooh, that's good, actually. Well, then again, there are a bunch of guys who just came around, so... We don't really know. I don't think it will be that easy. Why not? Look carefully. There are quite a few different sets here. Yeah, I know. And we don't know which ones belong to the kidnappers. Oh, that's true. We don't know what kind of shoes they were wearing. Can I logic something now? I'm wondering. Can logic? Costumes? Oh, yeah! We know exactly what... Do Wait, no. Yeah, we do. Because um, they were wearing costumes. So, as long as we know the costume sizes, we know what shoes they were wearing. Or maybe I'm completely wrong. Why am I always so wrong about this? Hmm... Try this. Pretty sure I'm supposed to be connecting something. Yep, I was connecting something. A second blue badger that shouldn't exist. Clearly, the true identity of the person underneath is... Oh, I know! It's one of the kidnappers, right? The person wore a costume to get away. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so now we know which badger it was. Now we can tell the footprints. A blue badger, a proto-badger, a bad badger. Yes, those three. 
So there are three phony badgers running around in a park somewhere, huh? I'm pretty sure Yuri just wants to catch them to get their photo. Okay. So, let's try connecting these two now. And since we now know which size... Yep! Alright. Now that we know what the kidnappers are wearing badger costumes, those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. Oh, you mean now we know which tracks belong to the kidnapper? Oh, she's sharp! I like her already! Yes, more than shoe prints, we need to follow the paw prints of badgers. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to use those footprints and go badger hunting! Okay, so... Where do they lead? They lead, like, here, though. Hmm, so we're looking for footprints made by costume. Hey, I think I found them! There are two sets here. Yeah, there are. There's, like, a giant whole one and the one that kind of looks human-like. This says walking out to the west. Arg, it's just stops. I can't make heads or tails of where it's headed from here. Maybe because there's wood? I think we can assume it's headed towards the stadium. Hmm, I wonder where the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. Where? Oh, towards this guy. Okay, so he probably made those footprints. Quick, Mr. Edgeworth! I've got him! I got one of the culprits! If it only was that easy. Not kidnapper, sir! I forgot to do this, sir! That's important! Down K, clearly those footprints belong to Officer Meekins. But our criminals were each wearing a costume. Aha! Maybe they came over this garage for something. That's what I would suppose, Dr. Meekins. If you could step aside for a moment, we need to examine the garage. Sir! Roger Wilco, sir! Who's Wilco? Is Wilco one of your friends? What'd you do to Wilco? Because I approve! Oh, wait, I'm allowed. What the heck? Is that a break in a path? Let's open the shutter and see what we find. Maybe we'll find the kidnappers hiding inside. Oh, if only it was that easy. Ah! What? I, I don't get it. What, what are we saying? Okay, that's what we're saying! He just. Okay! We seem to have stumbled across a dead body. She must be in severe shock to have seen the first to find it. Now then, who is this man? It's Oliver! Who's Oliver? Mr. Mono, are you- Oh, God, this isn't good. Yes, he's my butt- Oh! Oh! Why was I thinking that was the son? I'm stupid. How could something like this have happened? Indeed, and why was Mr. Deacon here to begin with? Better investigate this crime scene quickly before Agent Lang or his men return. He's gonna come soon. The kidnapper's footprints are lead right to the garage. And right to the dead body. Is it possible one of the kidnappers is now a murder victim? Maybe. That's what I was thinking. Maybe the guy's a murder victim. But my cursory examination, I believe this man died of a fatal bullet wound. Oh, it's not a stab wound? Okay. But why does he have blood on his shoulder then? It's surprising what one can become accustomed to in the span of two days. I won't rest until I've inspected every nook and cranny. Okay. You always don't rest until you suspect nook and cranny. Alright, so let's try the blood, because that's what's calling me. Why the heck is there, uh, blood on the shoulder? Let's see what I can piece together myself. And there are two gunshot wounds, one to his abdomen, one to his shoulder. So that means he was shot twice? No, I don't think so. I think the abdominal one is an entry wound, and the one near his shoulder is the exit wound. Really? It went that far? Knew you could figure it out! comes with experience, and I've seen my share of crime scenes. Speaking of experience, this crime scene seems a bit too clean for a murder where the bullet went clean through. I should make a note of this oddity. Okay, so makes no sense, because it's too clean. Also, why are we in, like, the pink badger's way? Um, okay, I guess we can check what this thing is. This is an unusually shaped pendant. What is it? Is it something valuable? Uh, she needs to regain some of her composure. But she doesn't steal like that. She steals information. So get your head in the game. It looks like a horse pendant. It's got an antique feel about it and it's pretty heavy. Hold on. It's made of platinum silver. Nice! It is worth something after all. You're not stealing it. Just saying that right now. There's something written on the back. Colin Devore. It's a name. Colin Devore. But this man's name is... Maybe it's something else. Uh, I can deduce something now. Do I have anything about Colin Devore in this thing? Stadium, Wild Wilds Park, Main Gate. Badger Family, Head. Type of body, okay. Uh, let's see. He's not wearing a suit, so that works. What the heck is with that hand? Check the pendant. Is that all I can check on this thing? 
So I should be able to find something wrong with... This not somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold. I have no idea. Hmm, actually... Actually... If this guy was wearing the costume... When he got shot, it makes sense then that there's it's just so clean. Oh, never mind. Come on, man! It works! To be honest, I don't really see how it solves anything. I must be confused jumping from a kidnapping to a murder. Yeah, that's it. I can't believe I made such a large blunder that even this little girl could point it out. Okay. If you say so, um... What's with his hands? One's clutching something, the other is... Whatever the other is doing. What's my organizer like? Touch, check one for details. Time of death, we don't know. Um, preliminary findings. Do I just, do I just do the obvious? And I know lots of like my these games just go the obvious way out. And do I? Just click the pendant and wonder, like, this guy's name is Oliver Deacon? Yeah, that's kind of obvious, but okay. Now I've got the name. The victim is a mono family butler, and his name is Oliver Deacon. I hate how this is so simple. My mind doesn't work simple. My brain works crazy. I wonder what's up with that. I don't know, but I think we've hit upon an important piece of information. Okay. I guess we shouldn't tell anybody about this. Also, the investigation's complete. Yay. Yay! Investigations! Lance! Lance! Where are you, sweetie? Oh, it's you. Oh, wait, what the hell? Who the hell are you? But you are... Badam! Oh, this bad. He's really good looking. Heck, stop it, Lauren. I don't know what... You can't let yourself fall for a playboy like it. You're in love with... We're a playboy lawyer. Edgeworth, you have it all. Why can't I be you? Sounds like someone doesn't know the meaning of the phrase inner monologue, huh? Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but might you be a friend of Lance? Yes, I'm Lance's girlfriend. I thought that crazy, uh, spy lady was his girlfriend. My name is Lauren Pops. Hey, she has a ring pop! Oh, it's not like that. We're more like friends, and, um, we're not lovers or anything. Okay, that's kind of completely contradictory of what you just said. Well, we haven't gotten that far yet, but I guess that's how people are going to see it, so I should just accept it. I even got this ring as a present from Lance. Oh, never mind, it's not a ring pop. I love ring pops, though. Huh, you remind what she reminds me of? Cartoon character! And you're not? I'm playing a freaking video game with you in it! May I inquire as to why you are here? I haven't been able to get in contact with Lance lately, and I began to get really worried. I looked everywhere for him, and then I had heard about the kidnapping, so I came here. Wow, you're really strong for having made it through all this by yourself. Um, is it true? Has Lance really been kidnapped? Uh, no it has not. No one is supposed to know, but yes, it's true. Oh, Lance. What? What? Wait, what? Lance is the, uh... Who's Lance exactly?! <laughs> Where'd you go from here? Well, we found a body, so we should look into the murder. Oh, I thought Lance was... Is it, aren't you Lance? You're Lang! Oh my god, I'm really sorry. My men brought me up to speed over the radio. And I have to say, you really should have called. I heard you found something very intriguing. I have nothing to hide, Agent Lang. It's exactly what you see before you. I'll take it from here. Yeah, that guy's really dead. No doubt there. Hey, you waiting for an invitation? Hurry up and detain the suspect, now! Suspect, who? Oh, dang! Officer Meekins, is it? You're coming with us! A lot of crap just happened again! What, sir? I had nothing to do with this, sir! Agent Lang, don't you think you're being a bit rash? Do you even have a good reason to suspect Officer Meekins? Ha! I leave that kind of stuff to you prosecutors, it's your job after all. Like I said earlier, the crime scene isn't as forgiving as your precious courtroom. That's your answer? I know you like your logic and reasoning, but that sort of impractical fluff is not needed out there on the field. Oh, you just woke a sleeping tiger. Not like you are on a tiger yourself, man. All you have to do is arrest suspicious person after suspicious person. That's how you eliminate crime from the streets. But that's also precisely how you unnecessarily arrest innocent people by mistake. Innocent people? Nonsense. 
There's no such thing as an innocent person. We've all got blemish or two in our hearts. Okay, I don't know if I love this guy or I hate this guy. It's kind of like in the middle right now. That's tyranny. I won't allow such thing to go and check before my eyes. <laughs> Too bad for you. You don't call shots around here. As I have sworn to uphold the laws of this land, I cannot allow you to take this man in. That you would arrest a man on false charges without even conducting an investigation. You have no honor as a member of law enforcement? You! How dare you speak so indestructibly to our Shifu! What is that Shifu? I still have no idea! Hold it! <laughs> you amuse me, Mr. Prosecutor! Lengzi says every pack has its own rules. If you can play by their rules and come out on top, that is a true victory. Alright, I'll give you your beloved laws a fair shake. I'll show you just how much investigating I've done. Wait, so we're going against Lang now? Through my line of logic. I feel like his line of logic is actually really good. Anyway, we're going to see what his um, logic is next time. So this is Neon362. Hope you had a great time. Hope you have a great day. So please subscribe, like, thank me in any way possible with Loves of the Hot Chocolate. I will see you all next time.